All right, boys and girls, we are almost to the end, and we are going to finish up with a couple that I think you're going to find to be very, very easy compared to what you've been working on, which is great as we look towards the end of the year in the last couple days of school. Today, we're working on tens. Tens. And what makes 10 so easy is it's one of the first ever numbers that you learn to skip count by. And it always stays the same because anything that we multiply by 10 is going to end in a zero. So it just makes life really, really easy. So when we just get cooking with things, 4 times 10 just means that we skip count by 10 four times. 10, 20, 30, 40. Great, right? Same thing. We just can keep on changing that number. Keep on changing that number. 10 times 8. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Again now, 8 is one of our harder numbers, but when it's multiplied by one of our easy ones, it makes it not so bad. Easy to do there. So keeping that in mind, answer's always going to end in a zero, and we can take those harder ones, our sixes, sevens, and eights, those threes and fours, that can be tricky. And when a ten shows up, think about multiplying by tens instead of fours, or sixes, or sevens, or eights. It'll make life really, really easy. Now, that's really all that there is. You, we can, if you still want to, it still works to draw those pictures, those arrays, but I bet a lot of you don't need to use them sometimes just those hands until we get to real bigger numbers that we can do that. And same with division. If you want to get working, you can, but you might just want to watch this because it's easier to check those things. When we get numbers like 110 divided by 10, messy writing there. We can just think, we can almost just take 10 and skip count up till we get to 110 and write our number in. We can make those, those numbers, those arrays, those numbers, but it's probably just easier to think 10, how many to get to 110? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, one more 110. That was 11 finger counts right there. And just getting two things that way. One other thing that we can do, and we'll learn a little bit about this tomorrow, but I'll actually switch the problem just a little bit. When we have zeros in both sides, so if I did 100 divided by 10, I can actually cross out zeros as long as there's one to give on each side. I've got one zero to cross out on this side, so I can cross out a zero on that side. Problem is going to be the same. Now it's just 10 divided by 1. 10 divided by 1, answer is 10. Whether it's 10 divided by 100 or 10 divided by 1, answer is the same. I can cross out zeros that way and figure that out. Really, really good, easy type of stuff. All right, I'm going to keep this video really, really short today. I think you guys are going to fly through the assignment. Good luck, and we'll see you one more time tomorrow.